Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. So today, we got some utilities to go dig and uh, lay. Get the truck. First off, cut this off. We gotta cut this off. That's all plugged in. Ready to go. So what we gotta do here? Oh, we need cuppers. Uh oh. Either way, so we got our boxes of settings here. This is what we use for our sewers and our storms. So like these are wise, we would use them for a sewer or maybe somewhere in the storm we wire into it. Two-way clean outs, every sewer gets a two-way clean out. Couplers, if you need them. These are 22s, 22 and a half, I believe they are. Uh, 45 degree angle. Is it back backwater valves? We call them back clothes. Backwater valves, same difference. 90. These are sanitary tees. These can never be used on a sewer. They would not like that. Just because that 90 degree turn right there, that's a poop catcher right there. They never use 90s unless they're long turn and vertical. There's all kinds of stuff that goes on with codes. So yeah, that's a little bit of what we're doing today. We've got our conduit. These are 90 sweeps. These are 11 and a quarters. 22 and a half. Same difference, 45. Kind of the same thing as um, doing well so today we got some utilities to go dig and uh lay get the truck first off cut this off we gotta cut this off there's cord of cherries mm. Yeah, we've been watching on those the last few days. Oh, yeah. I guess I should have came in to plug this in this weekend, but... I just didn't feel like it. Sometimes you just don't feel like it. Let's see where the end of this plug. checked in the machine she's running i'm gonna wipe off the windows here pretty soon pick up this little bit of trash so what we have here these are the rain drains completely flat it's all based on head pressure anyway the uh, gutters come down hook tight into that go all the way around the house they, they start from there and go around that way as well all the way around anyway go down south there and duct tape the top of them so we don't get no dirt in them anyway come come out here to figure out which side it's on but probably gonna be this side that there's no patio patios in the center so we got a little bit of room so all the water from the roof the gutters and everything is going to come down in these pipes go all the way around the house to here and this is going to go down and tie off into a big we'll put that leaf catcher about five foot away so probably like here and then come out this way and there's gonna be a big hole in the ground 
some fabric and some rock four inch proof pipe on top of that that's got to get inspected got to get a raw and the raw excavation inspected first same thing with that house right there there's going to be a soakage trench right there and uh yeah they want to see the raw excavation first and then they want to see all the pipe rock in it fabric everything like that and then we can bury it so here the red one is our power so there's our power pedestal here there's our power marker so we'll tie onto there i'll show that got locates so that's good yellow's gas red's power where's water where's the water box at way over here there's the seat to clean out there's our sewer marker we're going to hook up onto low point of the house so it'll come out here when they did the dig out they usually cut it so the dig out don't hold water morning there's our water box and that's going to come probably straight through here to the um, little sleeve right there but yeah i'm gonna get some get the windows to this all cleaned off so i can see what i'm doing and uh we'll get to digging i guess i'll order some gravel too that should be first but yeah let's hop to her frank over there is on the back i'll get all started up and warmed up but we're gonna move that porta potty is over here. Ain't no sense in walking a mile to go use the restroom. So he's gonna get that all put on there and popping a tire and hitting that lip you can see there and just use all the gravel from the approach and just kind of blade it and grade it to the front entrance of the garage This makes it a bit easier on the trucks and us as well, so that we don't crack that or chip it away. As you can see, it's starting to come into play. I grades it back just so it has a smooth entrance for the dump trucks.
got power trench over there first, but I might need to throw some of those dirt from all the trenches over here that direction. So I don't want to do a trench there and then fill it back in with dirt. So I decided to come over here, dig the water line, the sewer, the storm, and um, yeah, get that all laid and get my dirt placement where I need it. Yeah, so that's the, that's the plan, the new plan. So, like, oh, so with this water line, I got, I don't know if you can see down there, right there is our gas marker for mainline gas. There's power, water lines all the way out in the street. You see that right there, so I don't have to watch out for that too much, but all these should be, um, right there gas is minimum of 18 inches power is 36 inches deep but that's why we have shovels so we don't hit none of this stuff so let me go ahead and start digging there Times is black, like a black sand, but this will work. We know what to look for. Look for change in soil, look for sand, a little trench line. So sweet. This one didn't have a um, trench tape, did it? No. no. Not that Trace wire must be under it then, but I didn't see a trench tape. It's all right. Usually they have a trench tape a foot above it. It's all right. This happened to be about a foot off from where the locate was. Ended up finding that, but we'll shovel under it and fill our water line. And the gas is right up there somewhere, so I'm not even gonna get this with the machine. So yeah, we'll shovel that, throw the water line in here. I'm gonna get started on this storm in the sewer. It's something. It is. Very dangerous. Hmm. So, here's the wheat pole. Go out through the curb. Right about the front of my track is going to be maybe where the low point is of the house. All the water from this dig out, it all comes down to one, about where my machine is, one area. So, if water gets under the house, there's a place to escape. It'll run, we'll pipe it out to here, we'll latch onto that one, and uh, there's that one. So let's go ahead and start digging that. Sidewalk right there. You see the sidewalk right there? Oh, that looks kind of focused. Okay. Uh, they like it going straight through the sidewalk, so no fittings. Just a straight piece of pipe going from that wee pole over there all the way to over here to do a sidewalk and then we can put fittings after that. So, so the reason, the whole reason they want this water line trench two foot in depth is for the frost level. So I guess two foot down it doesn't freeze because it's only about a one inch pex line that goes in there. And they, uh, they don't want to freeze in and bust in and then you have issues in the future and yada 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 yada. So we make it two foot deep. It's not a little more if we can.
maybe it's around there somewhere. Go for a sewer ladder. It's supposed to be coming out. I have some kind of a cap on it, a white cap or a yellow gripper plug. Yeah, that was way off the mark. <laughs> you see that? That's the end of the sewer ladle right there that we're trying to find. We got to attach to. So, I'm going to get this all cleaned out. Maybe dig this a little deeper. Fix the slope a little bit so it's not such a drop off to that. We gotta have separation from all of our um, utilities. One foot separation from the power, the gas, and the cable, the phone, and whatever. It's gotta be a foot separation, so I'm gonna go over here. So this is all his stuff, and uh, good guy. Just want to throw that out there. So after some shoveling, found it. Three inch power, kind of coming out from there, nine is down, and then over here, and it's two inches going to that little gray box you see right there. That one, we're just gonna do a little trench too, and run a little one inch conduit roll but yeah that's what we we're looking for and we found it I'm gonna do a little bucket change real quick so when i dig this gas line over here uh, i don't know where that yellow shovel is uh, i don't break nothing we already know those other lines are super shallow so let's get her such a hard life for these quick couplers I mean, oh man
the house, down, down. To a connection point, right there. So I showed y'all earlier. It's duct tape so I don't get all kinds of dirt in it. Sometimes it's a pain, but I've got it. Yeah, so that's going to the main pedestal out there. Nice little trench to that. Our gas uh, casing is gonna go through here. Five foot from power is code, so somewhere right in that area. Ooh, that area. Um, yeah. So the other one, the other utility we're gonna do is right next door, and there's the power for it. So I'm just gonna follow that same grade because it should be right there, and all that's just gonna be one huge hole. And yeah, let's get started doing that. There's one before. There's just one over here. Now this is just one big hole now. So I dig the trench over there. But yeah, it's a pretty good deep hole. Bench that a little bit over here. Can't really bench too much that way. You got all the other utilities, so got to bench it out over here for free. So we got that one exposed. Got the trench almost dug, but the hunger bug hit us. All of us. So we're gonna grab some food and uh, yeah, we're gonna eat some lunch. See you guys in a few. Over here. Whoa, almost fell. There's our power conduit. Got one done. They're gonna work on the next. See back up in here. We're gonna put that gravel far back in the garage as we can. Just somewhere to hold it for now, and then we'll start bedding in all our pipes and That's my favorite part coming up. Every time. Helps clear all the crap in the bed. I think that's why they do that. So, and there's the trailer. That one's next. Sent it. So I do this. This is pretty cool. Porta potty removed, and right after he moved that porta potty, the backhoe blew a hose. <laughs> That's
Yes, they're sweet. We're gonna finish digging. I don't know, I think we're gonna try to figure out how to get more hydraulic fluid into that backhoe over yonder. Figure out where we gotta put that in at and uh, get that running so we can push that gravel in, make room for more. We got two more boxes coming for that. We got four boxes coming here. And that should be my gravel for today. gets over there and bed all that in with rock as well. Okay, let me sit you guys up. My fancy uh, fold holder. Maybe ate my knees.
shot me. Chinchin in, or people call it different things. So, uh, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. So yeah, so we gotta clean up the top for inspections. You can see, the inspector can see trace wire. So if you don't know, the, the green tracer wire right there, get in focus. Anyway, the green tracer wire, is if they have to do some kind of excavation in this yard later on in life, or they gotta dig this up again, they send a tone through this little wire here, and it'll let them know exactly where that pipe is. Same thing this one. This what it looks like before you bed it in. You gotta have it all the way from one from point A to point B, all the way up yonder. And there's our water, our water line, which goes there when we get some in the morning. Um, that'll uh, have some blue tracer wire on it. And then when they they locate power and stuff like that, they they just use the wire that's already inside the conduit to locate it. So uh, I'm gonna try to get some gravel over here to bed all that in. And this helps it properly seat the, uh, the pipe to set down and it won't really settle as bad. Get some gravel up under it and uh, it won't help it settle or it'll help it not settle. Kind of has like a ballast, if you will. And uh, it won't get no pipe or no bows, no sags. And uh, yeah, so let's get some gravel on this one over here. So we got Robert over here digging the soakage trench. It's got to be three foot below this grade here. That's going to go one of the little cash basins I showed you. But this, they won't expect a raw excavation. So he's on the 312. Digging it. Yeah. That's gonna be filled with round rock. It's gonna be gonna be fabric laid down, round rocks, pipe. We'll get more to that tomorrow. But our power inspector's here. So let's go see if we pass power inspection. So he didn't get the paperwork for the inspections on this, but cool guy, he's gonna do it for us anyway. And then we gotta run pool string in this. So this is fish tape. He's got the little bucket of pool string over there. And uh, he's gonna tie it to the end of our fish tape here. And we're just gonna pull it straight back through and duct tape the top and call it good. So this is a little something I like to call sweeping up the street. Same thing, right?
Like cleaned up, get some caution tape ran, and uh, get out of here. Got her all caution taped off. Not the best caution tape, but you know, no one lives out here yet, so that's it. Ready to get out of here? <laughs> Let's go home. Well, if you guys liked what you saw today, Please hit that subscribe button, the like button, and uh, maybe drop a comment down there. Or tell me what you want to see more of, what you don't want to see, what you want to hear, what you don't want to hear. Do the hokey pokey, turn yourself around. You know, the regular. So uh, we'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye. bye.